Hello, Cancers. How are you doing? This is Heavenly Tarot. Doing a read on your energy for this week. Your weekly read. Right. Hello to my viewers that have just stopped by to check out my channel. Welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy this read. It may resonate and it may not. Okay, if it doesn't resonate with you, maybe next time, leave it where it is. If it does, I hope it helps you and enlightens you in the situation. Something you need to know. All right. Okay. And as for my new viewers, please subscribe to my channel before you leave. Thank you. I really appreciate it. All right. So, Cancers, what I picked up on you guys is somebody is seeing you guys as being egotistical. Okay? At this time. All right? And you guys are seeing something that's being a win-win situation that you're in. You're you're, mm, I mean, I heard the word bliss. So you're in a state of bliss right now about a situation. You're seeing someone as captivating to the eye. All right. Okay. So that's what I'm seeing with you. Someone is very captivating to you guys. You, you see yourself being in a win-win situation. Okay. All right. Feeling egotistical. So, Holy Spirit, can you show us Cancer's energy at this time? Thank you. Show us Cancer's energy for this week. Show us Cancer's energy for this week, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Show us Cancer's energy for this week. Show us Cancer's energy for this week, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Show us Cancer's energy for this week. Okay. Thank you. Cancer's energy for this week. Okay. Yeah, I'm here. Win win situation. Are you being told you're in a win win situation? Okay, I get these. This. Okay, you need a few more cards. Cancer's energy for this week, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Cancer's energy for this week. Okay. Okay, so Cancer, the cards for you that dropped out for your energy are the High Priestess card, very intuitive person, okay, a Virgo, okay, or just you using your intuition. The Fool card, taking a leap of faith, the Aries, Four Swords, praying, meditating. Or you could be resting. You could be ill. Stagnant in a situation. Page of Cups. Having creative ideas when it comes to something. Knight of Wands. Um, you may have to travel somewhere. Back and forth. Or someone is at a distance from you. That you have to travel back and forth to. Or this may be a job. You have to travel for work. Six of Pentacles. This could be windfall of money, balance, giving more to one than the other. Okay, stability. Eight of Pentacles. Um, moving forward in a success in growth. Okay, having a success in growth, anything. Um, employment. All right. Marriage. Engagement. Finances. Three of Wands, a new beginning. You're looking out, stepping over the, looking over the horizon where you want to take a new beginning. Start a new beginning. A Libra, King of Swords, or you're not wavering in a situation. Ace of Wands, moving forward in a success. Seven of Pentacles, deciding on which way to go in growth. 
Sun card. Happiness. Okay. So, Cancer. So, what I'm seeing is you're using your intuition or you need to use your intuition when it comes to a leap of faith that you want to take. Okay. So, I'm saying use your intuition. All right. Holy Spirit, clarify this high priestess and Cancer's energy. Or use your intuition. It may be an Aries, a younger Aries concerning a younger Aries that you may want to take a leap of faith with. Holy Spirit, clarify this high priestess card and Cancer's energy. Okay? So you're fighting off somebody. Okay, you're fighting suitors. Okay. It's somebody that you're feeling trapped and stuck with. You're fighting off. Okay. You're using your intuition. Okay. And wanting to take a leap of faith. And at the same time, you're fighting somebody you're feeling trapped and stuck with off. Okay. So here we go. Holy Spirit, clarify the full card. Clarify the full card in Aries energy and Cancer's energy for this week. And this could be you, young minded. Okay, you're wanting to take a leap of faith. But you're you're you might be thinking, yeah, taking a leap of faith is like a young person. They take chances. So this is just you, you're taking a chance. Okay? So you're fighting off somebody that you're feeling like you're stuck and trapped with, but you're wanting to take a leap of faith. And you're not, and they're telling you you're t you're being. And this is you watch this person all the time. You want to take a leap of faith with somebody that you watch all the time, okay? And this person may have already backstabbed you and betrayed you or is telling you this person is going to betray you that you're wanting to take a leap of faith with. So I'm, you're being told to use your intuition in a situation where you're fighting somebody off that you're feeling trapped and stuck with. Use your intuition on taking this leap of faith. With whoever you're thinking about taking this leap of faith with this person that you're watching all the time. Yeah, it's telling you to be careful. Use your wisdom. Use your um, <laughs> intuition when it comes to this person. Okay? Because this person is going to backstab you and betray you. Alright, four swords. Hmm. This is you praying. Holy Spirit, clarify. You're meditating. Holy Spirit, clarify the four swords. Clarify this four swords in Cancer's energy. Okay. So this is what you're praying about someone that you're attached to. Some addictions that you have. But you're, you're praying about maybe you're trying to fight an addiction. Okay? You're trying to fight your addiction. Alright? And you're attached to a Cap uh, Aquarius. Holy Spirit, clarify this Queen of Swords. Yeah, you want success. You want stability. And this Aquarius is Aquarius Leo. You want stability. When it comes to this, um, you want the stability back. So you're praying to get this stability back. And you're trying to pray to fight your addictions that you have. That's causing. Today's 
Okay, so yeah. This person, okay, so it's vice versa. This person is fighting you all. They're feeling trapped and stuck with you. They're thinking about taking a leap of faith from you. You watch this person all the time. They feel that you betrayed them. This Aquarius is feeling that you betrayed them. So you have to like switch it around. Okay. So this Aquarius is feeling like you betrayed them. Okay. So you're praying. It's because they think you have a, some type of addiction. Okay. But they're, you're praying to heal whatever addiction you may have to heal the situation between this Aquarius, okay? You want a success with this Aquarius, okay? In the stability, because you have stability with this Aquarius. You want to heal it, okay? Because it's stagnant, because they think you have addictions, okay? Holy Spirit, clarify the hangman. Yeah, it's stagnant. Well, I don't need to clarify that. You guys are stagnant because of what's going on? The addictions. Okay? The um page of cups. Okay, you're you're trying to come up with creative ideas. How to heal it. Holy Spirit, clarify the um page of cups. Clarify this page of cups. Yeah. You want to move forward fast. You want to heal the emotional distance that's between you guys. You're ready for forward movement between the both of you, okay? Quickly. You want to heal this situation quickly because you're tired of the emotional distance that you guys have between each other, okay? You're feeling like you're out in the cold. They have you feeling like you're out in the cold right now. You're feeling at a loss with this person, with this Aquarius, okay? Six of Wands. You are balanced back with this Aquarius, okay? Holy Spirit, clarify the Six of Pentacles. Clarify the Six of Pentacles and Cancer's energy for this week, okay? Because you've been enlightened and awakened about your Aquarius, okay? That they're successful. They're moving forward in their success. You see that? That your Aquarius, yeah. And growth. All right. And you may be feeling restricted right now. You're married to this Aquarius. It's in there. You've been enlightening that they're they're successful. It's gonna bring success to you guys' marriage. Okay. You want a new beginning. It's going to bring the sex they have. Yeah. This is you, Cancer. Look at that. You pop right out on this new beginning card. You want to start a new beginning somewhere else with this Aquarius. King of Cups. Okay. You're not wavering. You're working hard to build the relationship because you want to move forward to a success. With this Aquarius. Holy Spirit, clarify the Ace of Wands. Clarify the Ace of Wands. Yeah. Instability. You want to you ready? You want to move forward in a, in a success in, with stability with this Aquarius, okay? Seven of um Pentacles. You want growth with this Aquarius. Yeah. The person that you're married to, you want growth to this Aquarius. Wow. You want happiness back in the relationship. Holy Spirit, clarify the sun card. You're tired of the conflict, confusion, and disharmony in the relationship. Yep. Yeah, this one. You're tired of the conflict and confusion. You're waiting patiently. Okay? To move on to better waters again, okay? In a situation where you're heartbroken. You're heartbroken about this. Wow. So Cancer's out there. Wow, I'm sorry you guys are feeling... Your, your reads be so sad. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. So I wish you luck in this situation. I hope you get what you want. God bless you guys. Hmm. 
All right, keep your head up, Cancers. God bless you. That's the end of your read. Please like, share the video. Um, my new viewers, um, please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you. Stay tuned until next time.